adjective. An adjective is a word that describes a noun. So it modifies a noun. Um, adjectives, since they describe nouns, and nouns can be masculine, feminine, or neuter, adjectives have to come in masculine, feminine, and neuter. So they're always listed with masculine, feminine, the neuter. So we have adjectives that come with first and second declension endings. And we have adjectives that come with third declension endings. And this makes sense because we can get the masculine from the second declension endings, the feminine from the first declension, and the neuter from the second declension, like we reviewed in the last video. So we can get all three genders from these two declensions. And then the third declension comes in masculine, feminine, and neuter, so we can get the endings all from this one, third declension, okay? So if we have a, uh, an adjective like manus, it will always be listed in your vocabulary like this. Manus, um, uh, um. That means that this is the masculine, feminine, and neuter endings. And this tells us that it's a second, first, second, first and second declension adjective. And when you have a third declension adjective, it will be listed like this. Grawis, A. And that looks kind of weird, since we know there's three genders and there's only two here, but that's because the masculine and the feminine are the same. Remember in the nouns, masculine and feminine are the third declension of the same endings. So it's grawis, grawis, Masculine, feminine, grawe, neuter. And it's irregular in the neuter. Okay? So they abbreviate it by just writing one grawis in the, uh, that stands for masculine and feminine. Okay? And so let's decline one of these adjectives. We'll do manias. Okay? So manias. If we were going to, um, actually I'm not going to go through all the endings since they're all the same as the first and second declension endings. But let's use this adjective with a noun. So if I want to say the big boy, I would say queer boy, and then large, manius. Now he's masculine, so I need to use the masculine ending. Queer, manius. Okay? Now, if I had queered in a sentence in which it was in a different case than the nominative, let's yeah. say in the ablative, yeah. or let's say in the dative, if I give a present to the big boy, I'm going to put him in the uh, dative. Us, e, o, queer. Now, my adjective needs to match my noun. Okay? Adjectives always need to match in gender. Case and number. Okay, so queer appears in the nominative singular masculine, so manius is in the nominative singular masculine. Queero here is in the singular dated masculine, so manio needs to be in the singular dated masculine. Now, what if I had a feminine noun? Let's do quella. If I want to say the big girl, I'd say quella, mania. What if I have of the big girls? So I have quella in the plural genitive. I need to put mania in the plural feminine genitive. Quella mania. Okay? And now it gets a little bit tricky. See, these match, right? O and O. Autumn and autumn. It gets a little tricky when you have nouns from different declensions. So if I have oes, a third declension feminine noun, and I want to say the big sheep, oh. the sheep I'd have to use mania, oes mania. Or if I have it in the plural genitive, obium, mania. This is the plural genitive in the third declension, since it's a third declension noun, but I'm using a second declension, a first and second declension adjective. So these are both plural genitive, 
They're just different declensions, so they look different. But they're both plural, genitive, feminine. Okay? Let's move on to the third declension, adjectives. So grawes is our model adjective. It's got some irregularities. So grawes, grawes, grawuli, X is E, M, grawam. So far it's the same. Now here's where it's irregular, grawi. Okay, it's irregular in the ablative. Then in the plural, grawes, Grauiam. Grauibus. Ibus, ace, ibus. The rest is the, the same. Okay, so it's only irregular in masculine and feminine here in the dative. Sorry, ablative. It matches the dative. Um, and then in the neuter, there's another irregularity, and that's in the nominative. Instead of grauis, it's graue. Okay? Um, graue, graues, graui, the rest is the same. Um, but following the neuter rule, this accusative is going to match. And then graui, the same irregularity in the adjective. And then in the plural, following the neuter rule, we're going to have graui a. Okay? Graui a. Graui a. Uh, to match, and then grauibus. Okay? So in the third declension, neuter adjectives, the ablative is irregular, um, and then the neuter singular nominative is irregular. Okay? So if I wanted to say opidum, a serious town, I would say opidum grauwe. Okay. And then if I had opened on, let's say in the plural ablative, is os is opidis, I'd have to use grabidos. Okay, so this is a second declension, neuter noun, so it's is in the plural ablative, but I need to match using the second, sorry, using the um, plural ablative. The plural ablative, plural ablative. So even though this is a second declension neuter, it has this, I still need to use um, neuter plural ablative. Sorry, I'm getting distracted with everything going on over there. This is a third declension, but I still need to use neuter plural ablative. Okay? So those are adjectives.